we are going to make a finite differences calculator using Microsoft Excel. You might have remembered first differences from grade 9, and with a linear relationship we always knew that the first differences were constant. We maybe looked at the finite differences with parabolas or quadratics, and we found that the second differences were constant. Let's see what happens with a cubic. I have my x's set up there, so now I'm going to type in my function. I always start with an equals. So let's look at the finite differences of the polynomial function x cubed minus x squared plus 3. So there's my function. Uh, now instead of x's though, what I'm actually going to be using is the value of a3 in the cell a3. So instead of an x, I'm going to use a3. So the contents of a3, there we go, negative 77, and I think that's right. I'm not going to check it. So here's what I do. I just fill down, and as you can see, this spreadsheet will magically copy the appropriate formula into each of the cells. Well, that's good. Now to do the finite difference calculator. So the first difference is... I take negative 33 and subtract negative 77. In other words, I take cell B4 and I subtract B3. 44. Now, all I have to do is fill down, and I don't fill down to here because that'll just make a mistake, because it'll use this other empty cell down here. Now I'm going to go to the second differences. And actually, I can just copy this and paste it here. And so this is 24 minus 44. And I can see that it has appropriately copied the formula that I want. And so now I'm going to pull this down. Our second difference is going to be constant. They are not. Oh my goodness. So what am I going to I'm going to calculate third differences. And I'm just going to copy this, control C, control V, enter, negative 14 minus negative 20 is positive 6. I'm going to fill this down, and <gasps> the differences are all constant.